Hello everybody, I hope you are all fine and safe. This is the most important thing. Uh, we know we face all this difficult situation with the coronavirus, but we have to stay safe, we have to, to stay safe, uh, to stay at home uh, for uh, our parents' safety, our friends, and uh, generally for our family safety. So guys, I told you what we are gonna create. We are gonna create a full stack application. It's, it will be a very simple uh, application, but behind the hood uh, we are going to see a lot of things so in reality it's not so simple because it has a lot of job behind the hood uh, after the complete of uh, this app after the end of this app we are going to upload and generally host it uh, on Heroku so we can see it online uh, now let's create in our desktop here a folder and uh, let's name it I already have the name blog you can name it whatever you want so I'm gonna name it blogger nice then open your VS code or whatever uh, text editor you have drag and drop it inside right now uh, what you can do either you can press CMD this is the way I usually prefer as they say old habits never die you can just go to the uh, CD I show you ways now CD desktop and then desktop okay ah damn it okay cd blogger okay either you can write here npx npx create react ah damn it damn it create react up and name it client okay and then press enter don't do it okay either you can just ignore it and do it directly here uh, view terminal and, sh and say here npx create react up client okay I'm gonna do from here okay I always do it from here from the command prompt now I'm gonna do here I'm gonna press enter if you want you if you want you can press enter here okay I'm not gonna do I'm gonna close it here okay I show you two ways right now now we have to wait um, for the installation to be completed I'm gonna stop for a while and when everything is okay I'm gonna start the game okay guys uh, as we can see it finished I can't see it right here I don't know here is the folder that we created here we can see it okay okay let's put it again here why I can't see Can understand it right now. Okay, let's put something else and then try to put it. Now I can see. Okay. If you have the same problem and you can see, just put uh, another folder, whatever, uh, inside and then put 
again the same folder or just follow the first way the uh, the other way that I recommend you with the uh, command prompt anyway we are go not going to deal with this right now so uh, guys we are not going to deal with that client right now let's create a file we, we will start with a backend a file and name it uh, let's name it server.js right uh, now we have to initiate uh, this uh, the server here the reason is because we want to bring some node modules a uh, letter and some dependencies and in order to bring this we have to create a JSON file uh, in order to initiate all these things inside the JSON so just write uh, npm init press enter 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 okay don't write want to write something enter and after this you will see a package json here we are gonna put uh, some dependencies okay right before we start and uh, working with the server let's put uh, let's install a couple of things first of all let's install the um, the no daemon let's say npm install no daemon no daemon is a way guys to auto reload when we write something the machine uh, reloads automatically it understands that uh, we made a change so we don't uh, have to make the change uh, manually this is gonna become uh, automatically with the help of no daemon okay what else we want? We want, of course, the dot env, which is an environment. Uh, it's a module which loads environment variables from uh, env files to process dot env. Okay. Now let's also install the course. What is course? Course is a module. Uh, it's a technique uh, or a way to run uh, automatically both uh, uh, what I'm telling this is about concurrent course is a technique to allow uh, making a request to a server of uh, different domains right uh, also we went we want concurrently what is concurrently? Concurrently is a way to run both automatically the front and back end. Uh, let's also install Express. What is Express? Express is a node uh, framework which makes routing much more easier. Okay, what else we want? We want, uh, of course, we don't want to forget Mongoose. Mongoose is a way to communicate with uh, uh, with MongoDB database. Let's install all these things. Now we are going to see all these things here. Okay, we see here the concurrently, the no daemon, express, 
Dotty and V. Of course, I can see. Uh, let's write npm install mongoose. Right? Can see mongoose. Okay, here is the mongoose. Also, express npm install express. Okay, let's start. Maybe, and we are gonna see later what happened. Uh, now, the first thing that we have uh, to do is creating our variables. First of all, let's write require. It's a way to import modules, the require. What we want to require? The dot env, right? dot config right now let's make a const express we want to install the requires uh, means we want to take this module to bring inside now our app this module the x look here we have the express uh, this curly brackets means that we have already installed the uh, in package JSON inside the express. Look here, and it is available right now. Exp, uh, express, right. Also, we want to initiate the cons. We want the mongoose equal with require mongoose we have another option with module is the newest way we can just use uh, if we use module we don't need to use uh, the require um, let me show you we are not going to implement it with module we can just use the import like react okay with a uh, module now we can use it because we have another way. So const mongoose also let's bring here the course equal const course equal require we need course boom. Uh, now let's initiate our app and make we want to bring here this function the express okay let's create middleware middlewares middlewares uh, let's put an s here we want the app dot use we need the course to have access everywhere I'm gonna explain you right now what middleware does we want the express dot json it's the same as the old way with body parser but express json it's much more easier and you don't need body parser so right now guys what uh, does the um, the app dot use okay let me first of all i want to enable this so app dot uh, use guys this dude here what does it has um it has access in every path for example we have uh, app dot get okay get let's say app dot get 
I didn't write correct. And there is this path. It has access here. Look, in every path, for example, we, which starts with this. And generally, it has access um, in our application. We have some... Uh, then you will see this is a, a big difference, guys, with the app.get. App.get has access only in this, okay? Uh, App.post has also access in only this. Have specific access. Okay, app.get, app.post have specific access. Now, the app.use ha have access in every in all all the application which starts with this okay let's get started right now um, let's create a port const port equal process process dot env dot uh, port or five thousand Then we want to listen somewhere up dot listen. Let's put here this is our path. Uh, what I'm doing up dot listen. Here we are gonna put the port, and of course, we want to create a self invoked function. And we want uh, damn it log. We want here to see the server listening on port port right. Let's go to package JSON. Okay, I'm gonna make npm npm start server listening on port five thousand. Okay, if we go now on port here local uh, no here we need this port okay we don't have a get request let's make for example a get request app dot get let's write something the rec and the res. Let's send something up dot uh, what I'm doing uh, res dot send what we want to send hello from server if we load look nothing happens very interesting uh, 
podcast host. App dot get. Rec arrest. Let's see what happened. Why this happen right now? I don't understand. Okay, guys, let's continue. We see hello from server. Everything was work. Okay. Uh, Every time, if you see here the get, the app dot get or not, what you have to do, you have every time to write here. Let's see, you have to write again npm run ser uh, run start. In order to see the changes here, whatever you write. Okay, let's do a couple of things here. I don't want to get confused with these things. Uh, first of all, let's go and create. Or you know, I'm gonna create all stuff here. So we know we need here server. Also, token. Uh, no demon server dot gs okay cool now let's go and also create the client from now we don't want to deal with this uh, letter put npm start prefix be careful what what we are what you are writing guys because in the end uh, you will have problems apply end okay also dev concurrently yes Then we need to put npm run server. Okay. Uh, we need to put this. Now make this again. npm run client we need this and we are correct right now okay this is all uh, now I'm gonna close it just control clear npm run server and here we are now no demon is watching every time let's write hello from and if I reload look hello from 
So guys, uh, after this, let's. This is our uh, first route, but we are not going to work uh, with this like this. We are gonna create here. Just copy. Uh, let me see. Copy this. Or you know, guys, don't copy anything. I'm gonna use app dot use okay cool this is our destination and then now guys I'm gonna create here a folder uh, new folder and I'm gonna name it uh, um, info let's name it info root dot gs go here now oh what i did the folder the folder rename it rename uh, Root. Roots. Okay, we got the folder roots. Let's call info root dot gs. Cool. Now we want to create. We want to bring here const router equal require we want express okay dot router okay then we need uh, router dot Yet, okay, we are gonna make this precise. Then, this is the path, and this this is what is gonna happen after we go in this path. Okay, uh, rec res res dot send. Let's say hello from let's say from info root for example also we need to export all these things module dot exports remember guys in react you just uh, make uh, export default blah 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 okay here we have to make module dot exports equal with router we want to export the router okay the router have access uh, with the router uh, the middleware app dot use has access in all in get post delete and put let's say now let's go here Let's write import um, We are going to import right now the root root Let's say roots we don't have main uh, another roots but roots and let's put here const info root equal with require we have to go in roots okay and info root we have to put it uh, here and just write info root and then as you can see you can see this uh, red uh, mistake right now 
And if I try something else, look, hello from InfoRoot is what we wrote here. Also guys, another option that you have. If you want, you can just copy all this comment this and just put here direct, directly the required. It's the same way if we push it works okay. But it's much is much more cleaner to import is uh, like a variable and taking it. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Uh, let's move now and ah something important that we haven't created yet is go and connect with MongoDB. So we created our server. Uh, let's uh, connect now with MongoDB. Or you know guys, maybe maybe let's create first of all before connecting. Let, why don't we create? This is the other routes, okay? Uh, this is the getting. Uh, info let's say data control copy this posting um, posting uh, info data yes let's put here the info okay now look something important if you put the info look what is gonna happen there is an error here we have to go and search for info in order to work we had to put this precise path info here uh, from info yes look we see now the info uh, from info get maybe it's better doing this from info get let's delete the yes we don't know we don't want this uh, right now it's the same info uh, res dot send hello from info post copy all this right now control copy posting info regress now what we want we want here to get specific data specific user and for this reason we need to put an ID uh, getting getting specific specific getting info right and we are going to test it I'm gonna show you uh, in a while so Res little dot um, get here. We need to put the post. Don't forget my mistake. Also here we need to put to make the put because no, we need the get again because we want to get specific ID, right? Then.
we want updating this specific ID nice router dot uh, we want the put in order to update things uh, also let's take the We want to put info update and then the ID and here we need a rec and a res res dot send let's write uh, info updated okay then copy this don't want to spend time this uh, we want the delete here okay let's not put the update only this uh, Info deleted. Let's write deleted. Now, guys, we want a couple of tools in order to work. Okay, we have already all, uh, we have already our uh, roots. First of all, we you need to install the Postman. It's very useful this uh, tool because we don't have uh, now the front end in order to see what happened and in order to see uh, what we are doing we need postman so what you have to do uh, damn it go download postman go here and see what uh, fits for you now if you don't you have a Mac Windows I don't know uh, you can just write download here if you have Windows press Windows 64 or 32 uh, also there is, there is option for Mac okay after uh, the end of download you have to open Postman, you have to install Postman, then we ha you have to open it and it's gonna appear something like this. Right, now let's create, okay I'm gonna delete all this cool now let's create here we want to work with uh, let me see control copy control copy here okay local host right let's see if it works we're going to send okay and we see the hello from info right if we press something else for example we see an error because it's not correct this destination this destination must be exact the same info like uh, we write here the getting info right if you write in something else for example yes you have again look now what's gonna happen there is no exist you have to write and yes and not only here guys also look here if you upload yes there is no you can find you have to write the yes in order to find the precise destination yes and boom right okay i'm gonna i'm not going to use the yes only the info uh yeah let's go here we don't need yes only info right now and boom everything okay 
so guys I'm trying I know I moving a little bit slowly but I'm trying to explain it as good as I can because it's very important to understand things I, I it, it could be much more simpler for me to just say okay info and then just move on without understanding anything this is a way that uh, is gonna be is gonna take a lot uh, of time so right now let's go here now with this postman we can check all our routes guys right we got the get let's create another route here uh, copy all this destination the URL paste here now we we have to go in our uh, body Press the row, we want the JSON, right? Yes. If we press the yes, look, hello from the from info post. Okay, it is the info post that we have. Where is? Let me show you. Hello from info post. Here. Let's go in a router.get in get but putting the ID because putting S S ID we are put a number we are going to put a number okay uh, info. okay I didn't I didn't make the post yet now it's gonna work hello from post now now it's work uh, here we got the get here the post uh, let's now go create or you know don't create uh, yet go here we don't need the yes we need the one because it's the an ID that we have now we want to take by ID something right hello from info post let's see yes because I didn't change from info post from info ID now it's correct I forgot to put here something let's hello from info ID okay this is a specific route now by ID let's go right now uh, here to create a put a put an update copy the URL beautiful uh, let me see I don't, I don't remember the URL okay copy all this okay now it's correct right let's see and there is a mistake because I had to put here a number I info updated it's correct right now let's create and the delete Uh, we have to choose the delete here what I'm doing what I'm doing copy all this address uh, info and we want the number whatever you can uh, let's and I info deleted all the routes works perfectly guys okay now it's time uh, going and working with we are going to mongodb to create our database mongodb atlas now you have guys to create an account 
uh, if you already have an, an account you can just uh, create your database it would be much more easier to follow the tutorial so uh, start free now either you can create your account here guys or you can just sign up with Google I will sign up with uh, Google personally you can do the same thing so MongoDB is going to have access to your uh, is gonna sign in with your Google uh, information okay and uh, after this we are going to have this uh, panel here now guys let's create a project I'm gonna create a demo blog let's say blog blog yeah it's gonna be blogger okay Oh, you know guys no like this you have to put here new project right come on why this project name let's call it blogger blogger then we have to press the next um, give your member access to press create project beautiful now we need to push the build a cluster right create a cluster we want to create it for free right you can choose Google or uh, Amazon web server account uh, okay we just press the create cluster let's see select country and the payment So it's the first time I can see this tab right now. I don't know why. Uh, like a note for higher value. Let's see why this happened right now. Okay, it was my mistake. I for like went directly here. They usually they were putting here the free. What they did, they changed things. <laughs> 
today that I created the tutorial, they change things. I don't believe it. Okay, you have to go uh, create cluster free, the free guys option. After this, go. We don't need. You can just go and put here Amazon or from uh, Google Cloud. Choose the, the, your region. I'm gonna choose uh, Europe. I'm from Europe. You can choose uh, American or Australia or uh, Asia, whatever you are. Uh, create cluster. <laughs> oh my God! I don't believe that I got confused. So, right now, guys, uh, we have to go here, database access, add new database user. This is the user, let's name it uh, blogger. Let's write blogger uh, 21. Right. Here. Let's write also blogger. Let's write blogger. Right. Okay, here let's put 2G. Okay, let's make it the same. Or, you know, make it blogger, uh, blogger man, blogger man. Cool. Just remember what you are writing, guys. Remember or write it somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna copy. So let's write it somewhere. I don't don't want. I'm gonna write it here. Blogerman. Don't want to have. Blogger twenty one. Nice. After this, press the. Add user, okay. The user is okay. After this, go to network access, add IP address. We want to um, leave uh, to have access from anywhere, allow access from anywhere. Yes, confirm, and now we just wait for the confirmation. This tutorial could be much more quick and uh, easier, guys, but uh, I wanted to explain as much as... Uh, okay, active. It's active now, our IP from anywhere. Uh, let's go to clusters. Okay, it is still uh, working for the creation. So we have to wait until the complete installation of Blogger. Blogger is gonna be installed very soon. Let's see how much time. Oh, almost one hour. Let okay, it's ready, guys. Now let's go and uh, connect. Connect your application. Copy all this. Copy all these guys. Cool. Right now, go. Your VS Code. Let's uh, right. 
ok paste this destination here and right now what we are gonna do let's leave mongodb for a while and go here right now guys let's go and create a file and name it dot env right let's create a port equal with this okay this port now is uh, let me see let me see for a while is here look here I'm gonna do something else process process dot in v dot port or uh, what I'm doing five thousand okay this port is the port that we take from here let's see what okay, it works uh, right now let's go here in env before going where is the file copy all this destination control copy and put it here uh, be before putting it here there let's write go to env again and write uh, mongo URI URL let's say mongo URL okay and just put this destination here now we have to put the password that we have okay where is the password um, let me see in forward here is the password here right and here also you can make you can create whatever you do okay let's write my blog my my blog okay we are ready with this close it right now let's connect to mongodb let's go to server Uh, here right now guys let's make a const uri equal with process dot env dot mongo uh, I don't want to make mistakes so just copy this uri We could put all the destination, all the this uh, destination here, or directly in um, in Mongoose here. But it's much more clear now and much more safe, guys. Let's go and write connect to Mongo Mongoose dot connect right we want now the uri right and also we need the user create index these things are fundamentals and important i'm not going to explain these things but you have to put this right now it's necessary for mongo user uh, where is user find 
where is user user create index use use find modify is gonna be true come on right now uh, use new URL we want use new URL parser is gonna be true also we need use uni uh, unified it's gonna be true okay this is what we want uh, after this let's make a self invoke function and then let's say if r throw r else what we want else we want to return the let's see we want to see it guys return um, let's say mongo db connected yo and we can see that mongodb now has been connected mongodb connected okay after this guys now it's time to create our model uh, go and create a folder name it model inside model right now we want to create a, let's create the file with the info model dot gs Now let's create our model guys. First of all, we need to import here the mongoose because we are gonna use the mongoose require mongoose. As I told you guys I can I could create I could move very quickly and not explaining so much uh, the things and uh, um, this could be nice because you couldn't understand anything. So let's create now const info schema a schema equal with new. I'm gonna explain it new mongoose dot schema put an object here let module dot exports equal mongoose uh, let's create blog blog info ok blog info also we need to export the info schema okay as you can see this is our schema that we want to export now we want to create in reality our uh, details here okay so we want to in let's see in our front end guys we want to create we want to use the name the name okay also we want to use the occupation and moreover we want to use email and date okay in order to use these things we have to create these things inside we want to create these things um, 
here in this place we have to create all these things okay what I'm doing uh, now let's create these things first of all let's create the name the name is gonna be a type of string it's gonna be a string string okay and is gonna have a required field which is gonna be true of course right we are okay with name now we need the occupation right uh, right here this which is gonna be is gonna need the type which is gonna be also a string and a required field uh, which is gonna be true correct copy this right now okay we need here the email right and after this we need also the date which is gonna be the date is gonna be a type of not string we need date this and uh, okay let's see required go here and just write time stops true let's make it a little bit much right uh, okay we got all these things right we created our mongoose uh, our, our model let's go now in our um, we don't need this we want to import it uh, this model in our roots okay So let's go and write const info schema equal with require uh, we need the model and of course the info schema. for mode okay we need this uh, destination now guys let's start and create our uh, let's work now seriously we don't need these static things delete all these static things right delete bye 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 we are going let's put a little space we are going to work here okay let's create a const info equal with await cool we need the info schema uh, dot find we need to find everything for this reason we put this right now we see an error here the reason is because a weight in order to work it needs the async then we just write a weight 
info res dot json let's write uh, info data is um, if we go now in our where is the get here uh, get info and just make a request info data is empty and w if we don't write anything and just only the info just write the uh, info look what is gonna happen we take an empty array because in database there is nothing now it's empty okay we don't save anything let's go now and We want to post something. Let's write const name occupation write email and here we are gonna write equal with rec dot body okay it's all that uh, also we need then uh, or you know let's make it like this we need the data the the date yes we need the date let me see if I wrote it correct. Date. Right. We need the date. Cool. Now, let's make a const. New info equal with new we create we post something and we have to create to push the to create then to put here the new guy so info we need the info schema in order to find these details okay look here is all the body we got all the body all the body has a name occupation email date look here name occupation email date now cost new shim schema and we want here to put the name, look, the occupation, the email, and the date. Then the date. Let's. I'm gonna take all this right now. Copy. Okay. I'm gonna take all these things. Date is gonna be. gonna be date dot parse rec dot body dot date okay or you can just put the date here or you can just put only the date the same thing let's leave it like this so after this guys now what we want we want to use a weight new info dot save right we want to save it in database res dot json let's write here a message which tell us info added right 
and yes yes I forgot to put here the async yes now let's go and see what happened we are gonna use postman and of course we need the post here we have to create our data guys we have a post okay we, we go to the row json we have to create the data that we want to send okay we have the name also let's say codito what else we have we have the don't remember all things we have the occupation occupation let's say web dev what also we have the uh, email date let's say email dot mail dot com right And let's put also the um, date. Date is gonna be okay. Just write, write something right now. Don't want to deal with more things. Uh, right, we got it. Let's send. And uh, something happened. Let me see what happened. Date, cast to date, fail for value, not a number. At path. Date. Ah, uh, let's put here a uh, and let's okay info added it needed a number for this reason message info added okay if you want now to see if it really has been added go to mongodb classes Go to collections here. Okay, here is my blog as I write. My blog it represents. Look here. Look here. I'm gonna show you guys. You are you are going to learn many things. We are going slowly. I know, but there is no option to learn things without going slowly. So. Uh, let me see env look look uh, my blog here you can also in, from the beginning you could uh, put whatever you want okay my blog look here look guys this things this thing what I'm doing now uh, is this thing here my blog that we created okay blog infos is what we create is our model here look it's blog info of our model right you could just write anything else that you want uh, let's go right now let's see our uh, mongo 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 where are you mongo oh yeah look here we got Codito, we got web dev and the email, okay, in database. Look right now, if we go and put reload it again, where is we are just go, go, going and getting all this information dynamically from MongoDB. Look, right, right. 
let me show you something else right now also I want to show you another way of bridging this data guys this is the first with the with the async await is the best way and the, and more elegant okay I'm just gonna disable this and there is a much more elegant way this is the second way you if you want you can uh, don't do it but uh, it's a second way so just write um, also let's disable and this and right now info schema dot find okay we want to find all then we have to bring a promise dot then this is the second way dot then and uh, after this we want to put inside the info and the rest dot json we just want the info right cool then we need a dot catch if something goes wrong we don't want to break all the application for this reason we use a dot catch let's put l uh, rest dot json l right now after this if we go and um, info okay now if we reload we see that it comes again right also let's write something else in order to understand it be better we are in get and we took all the info let's write for example uh, info we got it look now we got it cool I'm gonna disable the second way and enable the first way the first way is the way I prefer guys because it's more elegant and more understandable okay with a async await right also something that I don't want to forget with a single await cut all this and uh, just put uh, try it's very important try catch put this here right now inside the try catch okay rest dot status if there is a me uh, an error it's gonna appear we want this which means server error dot json and let's write here msg Uh, let's write error uh, what I'm doing what I'm doing just right here guys uh, msg l ok we got it right let's move on because we spend a lot of time with many details uh, now let's go and create we are ready with a post 
let's go in uh, getting specific data right right Be before let's create another post guys here uh, where is the post okay let's write another name uh, let's write Sarah doctor Nika uh, Sarah Gmail dot com uh, okay let's leave the date the date the date the same right post it let's make uh, Nick electrician let's put here the Nick okay also we need to put the let's create another one okay let's put the uh, Katrina let's say dancer Katrina okay now uh, if we go here look and all these tabs comes directly if you reload look now you can see all this uh, information in your database right here has been saved after this guys uh, let's go right now and uh, before going let me see something else here Okay, let it here. Let's go right now and create the specific info. So we need to create a const info equal with a weight okay uh, info schema dot find by id we want to find it by id and also rec dot params uh, dot params dot id okay and uh, also we need the async async in order to work the weight then a weight info uh, rest dot json let's write here the info right What I'm doing. What I'm doing. Okay, now it's correct. Uh, let's see if we can take the specific info right now. For example, if we copy, we need to bring here only Codito. Copy only this ID and put it 
like this we took only codito the same way works here guys uh, yeah, okay we need to put this the slash and then the specific ID of codito right look now before doing this let's bring all right now we got all the info right now put the ID of codito and look we get only codito we get only the specific user fine also the second way disable all this this is the second way now second with info schema dot find by id rec dot params dot id right we need the promise with then dot then yes to put here the info and the rest dot json let's write the info right also a dot catch if a mistake happens we don't want to break all the application so rest uh, dot status 500 it means that uh, there is a server error dot json oh what i'm doing yes okay fine i'm doing fine um, let's put error and l right it's the same thing and if let's see if it works again it works okay we don't have problems uh, let's see here no one inside of us think disable it right now we don't need it right we just want to enable only this let's put the request okay everything okay uh, let's put it inside try catch try catch damn it copy try paste it here I'm gonna copy all this and if I make right now a send okay it works okay we finished with uh, getting the specific ID let's work now with updating the specific ID so we have to create a const info equal with a wait first of all let's make a sync right a wait info schema dot find by id and update right we need a rec dot params dot id 
uh, and also let's make a function an object here we need the name the uh, let me see const name occupation email date equal with rec dot body right let's grab all this uh, copy and put it all here Just put here date dot parse the date or rec dot body dot rec dot body dot date. Um, okay, what else? Let's try and uh, Update okay. Rest dot send rest dot uh, JSON. Let's create here a JSON and play. make a message MSG item updated. Cool. Right. Let's go right now. Uh, in order to update, we need the put, right? The put. Uh, go here in. Uh, let me see. Hello, JSON. What we need right now? We need. Yes, we need. Where is the post? Post, post. Go take all this data. You can also do it here by, let me say, okay, let's create a put here, do it here guys, put, but you have to make a update, to put the update, because the update has put, and then to Uh, put here a specific ID of uh, the item okay let's say cut where is Katrina Katrina has a specific ID where is Katrina uh, you can see it from uh, okay let's go to get Codito we don't want to get the specific here I don't just want to see the ID right you can see it from here okay here Katrina this is the ID of Katrina also you can see it from here if you reload we, do, we don't need the specific ID to find by ID now okay reload where is Katrina Katrina okay this is the ID of Katrina code all copy then go here we have to go to put uh, and um, control v the id here now go here and change the name katrina dancer let's write something else katrina is a good dancer okay Let's press now. Item updated. Let's see if Katrina has been updated. Where is Katrina? Here. We have only the dancer. If I reload, look. Katrina is a good dancer. It has been updated. We are okay with updated now. Uh, so guys, now
I don't want to show the, show the second method here, it's gonna be too big the tooth. So let's move uh, and delete it. We have to make the async here. We need the await info schema dot find by id and delete by id and delete. Okay, we need to find the rec dot params dot id right. And after this, we need res.json. Uh, let's make an msg msg item deleted. Uh, also, let's uh, cut. Use a try catch. Put it here. Okay, here right, uh, where is the try catch? Copy. Right. Also we can put it in try catch. I didn't try all these things. Okay, let's make it a little bit nice. Uh, right? Now let's go and see uh, if the delete works. Postman, we got the delete here. Okay, we don't want the one, we want the specific ID right now. Let's go and get all things here. All info. Let's delete Codito. We are gonna take his ad this ID. Where is deal? Uh, go here, put the ID, and if I press the delete, item deleted. Let's see if we really delete Codito. Codito is here. If I reload right now, we can see Codito here. It, he has been deleted. Okay? Also, in the database, we can see because from a database comes all the data. We can see delete, delete here. Look. We can see Codito and I see delete. Okay, guys, that was, I believe, we finished with the back end. We are going to move on the front end right now. I think and I believe that uh, you understand many, you understood many things. Um, All right, guys. Now let's go and deal with the front end. Before before going to front end, I'm gonna show you that you could break in more parts these uh, things here. For example, what you could do: you could go here and create a new folder and just write controllers. And right here, uh, info CTRL dot GS. Okay, after this, go and uh, write.
const we want to bring the info the schema info schema equal with require dot dot um, model of course and then info yes and then we can just write get think info you could just put here oh what I'm doing get info uh, exports dot get info and write async or you know maybe get info equal with where is info root this piece of code take the async code all copy uh, info CTRL and just put it right here like this then we have to go in info model uh, info mode info root and write we need to write const um, get info equal require uh, we need to go to controllers and then info CTRL okay right then you can just where is all this with the sync you can just delete if you want and just write here the the get info and let's see what happened right and uh, if we go here let's see we are getting the info this way is much more elegant guys you can do the same thing for all these posts okay you can just go here also write uh, exports dot uh, add info equal with you can put again the async uh, info root uh, is a post where is let's see take this be careful what we are, you are taking uh, okay Ex Ports. you have to put the add info right now just copy it for the copy go here in info root above put a comma add info and you can just put here you can delete right now if you want you can just put here the add info right You can do the same thing for uh, let's see uh, yes what I'm doing exports <laughs> uh, 
dot let's say get in for id equal with uh, info root where is it uh, get I'm gonna say new yes post get where is the okay we need this we need the async control copy right copy this go here get info id get info id yes now let's go and we need now to write uh, exports dot add uh, update equal uh, okay I'm gonna take it from here update it is uh, I want this right copy this now for the copy put it here update we don't need this uh, up info what did I write here add add update okay right now what else we need the delete let's deal with the delete exports dot delete info equal with async Okay, I'm gonna take it from here, info root, uh, all the sync, right, copy this, be careful what you are doing, copy and just writing, delete info, and I don't need, don't want this right now, deal lead info okay now our code is much more elegant now let's see if uh, everything is okay uh, how we are going to see go to postman we want let's uh, uh, here we have the put let's go and make post I'm gonna add something else name 
let's say uh, let's say Michael Michelle 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 okay uh, Michelle Hello, I am Michelle. Right, let's go and post it. Info added. Let's go now here and see where is Michelle, 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 Michelle is here. Okay, let's uh, make update of Michelle with put. I'm gonna take his ID, copy the ID, control copy of Michelle and put it here uh, we need to go in post because here we have the info ok, put here the put and then make update and write and put this Michelle okay hello I am uh, by uh, let's say by by from Michelle yo okay Michelle Harris let's see if it has been changed all these things send item updated let's see if it really updated Michelle Harris bye bye from Michelle right everything thinks to be cool uh, Deprecate warning mongoose. Find one and update and find one and delete. Without the use find and move false. Okay, let's use modify uh, server. Okay, let's put false. What? The? Uh, after this, guys, put. Let's use the delete right now. We have the same. We want to delete. Right. Let's delete. Oh, what I'm doing? No, this no use modify. We want the ID. I'm gonna take here ID. It's here. Copy. Control paste. Item deleted. Okay, if it it seems good right now. Go and reload the page, and we can see right now. Okay, this is something that I wanted to import right now guys 